sensation. Like it's still like it's really just from but like I think it's a good thing to know for like if you want to if you, you like you have seen this class, you have some like self scripting that are wrong, they got like a lot of things that you can simplify in your life. But you still may want to think of like, oh, if only I could tell the computer to run this every hour, to run this every Saturday morning. And you can like do that like by hand, just like writing the daemon to kind of kind of sleep all the time or something like that. But like like Unix people have already not this would be for this. Um, Uh, Unix people have already kind of thought about that, and the, the there's like a daemon running in the background, more likely on your systems, which is called run, and you can check that it's running by doing some kind of like, oh, like working in my uh, yeah here like it's like root is running this thing called like user in run, and what the the way to kind of like access what Chrome can do is like doing Chrome tab minus E and it will kind of drop you in this file that depending on your distribution and depending on your OS, it might be empty or it might have something like this. I mean, I'm not even sure if this was something that came with Mac or I just copied from somewhere in the internet, which kind of explains the syntax of uh, the stuff that is run. So you will have like some not like five fields in the, you can see that like you have like five stars in there. And the first one says the minute things will run, the second one says the hour, the next one says the um, day of the month, then the one says the month, and then the last one says the week. So to give some examples, you have something like this like asterisk slash five, the like asterisk means all, like just like match to all of them and asterisk slash a number means match to every end case. So for example something that is like asterisk slash five like sorry first if something is like all asterisks it means run every minute. And that's one of kind of the limitations of Chrome. Like the maximum frequency you can run things at is one minute. But I think like it's good enough for like most tasks. So like here are some examples like running stuff every five minutes, running the stuff every hour at like kind of the o'clock, like at the minute zero of the hour. Uh, then you can do like every day at 9 a.m. You can define also ranges, like execute every hour, but only between hours 9 and 5 p.m. Uh, and like it can get really complex. There are like some tools online to kind of, um, like they will teach you, oh, I, can, I want to do like weekdays only. And we can test this, like for example, we can write something like this, which is like at every minute equal like the day, the current day to this uh, temporary file. Uh, if we do that and we mm, go now, uh, we can see that every minute this script has been running Yes, echoing or like you can see that it's in the in the first second or like in the second second of, of, of the minute and it's like outputting this. Uh, one of the inconvenient things about Chrome is that like it's kind of tricky to debug sometimes because A the maximum frequency is a minute. So maybe you realize like something's not running by default or something you haven't figured it out. And the second thing is that in most distributions by default it won't load all these like file, like we have covered like bassrc, csrc, bass profile, a lot of these things contain modifications to your path, or they contain modifications to your like loading where some scripts are, and Chrome by default doesn't know about this, and doesn't know about like where these scripts are running, so you need to be careful always specifying like the full path of the script that you want to be running, or like just modifying the path so the script can compile. Uh, and the other thing is like if the script doesn't work, you don't really have a way to tell that it's not working. Uh, one way to do that is um, to the thing we have done here, just like 
in redirect the output to some file that you can like file, so like some log that you can look to check that things are working correctly or not. And even though it seems like kind of like why would I need this, uh, it can be convenient for like a lot of things. Like like for example, let's say I want to I want to do uh, where we have this for example here. Uh, oh, another another good thing to do is instead of trying to run your entire command in this line, which can be like heavy to maintain, just make it execute some script and you're gonna even name the script something that is more meaningful than the bunch of asterisks and appearance. Something like every minute will be way easier to interpret. And if we go if we go to the every minute script, it's doing something really simple. It says, oh, if you find any file ending in txt in my downloads folder, move it to my desktop. And like, I have like a bunch of these that say, if you find some image matching this pattern or like this regex in my downloads folder, move it to this other folder because this means I downloaded some wallpaper or I downloaded some picture from Google Photos or something that I care about and should go into that thing. So you can automate like a bunch of stuff. And like if we, that's like a simple um, ATEX file. Uh, I think one tool we have in Corey, which is also convenient, is uh, what? What what does it just executes a command like continuously and like keeps refreshing and not every two seconds you can specify different frequencies, but it can be convenient if you want to kind of be seeing the output of a command like again and again. And if it doesn't crap on me, things should like move the file when we get to kind of the whole thing. Any questions regarding oh and the last thing I, I want to mention, one bad thing about Chrome is that it, if it, the computer is off when it kind of it should fire up the command, it won't look like good. Like once like the uh, thing comes back up online, it won't do it. So for that tool here like the Chrome script moved the ATXT file to my desktop. So now I have this file here because it moved it automatically. The thing you want to be looking at, if you are concerned about that, like you have like something that runs pretty frequently, it's fine probably to like escape like something that runs every, I don't know, this is not good. Uh, yeah. um, it's fine for like escape like one hour or like one minute. But you have something that runs weekly and like for some reason your computer is all oh, and like it doesn't work, that might be more concerning. And Acron is kind of this alternative that can only run I think to a maximum frequency of a day, but it will make sure to run the command no matter what. It will remember, it will make sure that like when the computer is back up online again, it will run the command. And that's I think there are like more like other tools like you can look more into this, like for example, instead of doing this Chrome thing, we can have look for events in the file system to kind of make all of those triggers, and there's like way more like we cover in kind of five minutes. But I think it's good to know like from the Monaco. Questions? Uh, this is one of those questions where it's like just do it yourself and see, but do you, I, I get worried about running a whole bunch of these at once. Have you done that and what happens? What do you mean? It's like a ton, like all sorts of things. Uh, a, it only runs to maximum frequency of a minute. So, like, I don't th unless you're doing like really huge tasks every minute, like, it's completely fine. Uh, I have all this running all the time with doing different stuff, like every five minutes, every hour, every morning, every night, every week. And, like, that's awesome. And, and yeah, like, for example, for stuff, I think, like, you're touching about, like, if you have, like, a dynamic DNS and you want to be kind of updating your DNS allocation every hour, I think Chrome is kind of the easy thing that you can do instead of kind of writing your own daemon or linking that to the OS. Yeah, this is what I use. I don't know why it was like bugging out on me, but yeah, this is good to know. Also, one other trick.
trick people use, like if you have a bunch of programs you want to run every minute, instead of running them all every minute, you add some offset number of seconds. Um, so like when writing the line in your uh, current tab, like for the first program, you'll run it every minute when the second is equal to five, and the next one you'll run it every minute when the second is equal to 10, and so on. And you'll see that even the recommendations for when you use uh, like a line in your current tab for dynamic DNS, they'll randomize the seconds as well. Um, I think that's more for minimizing server load or like spikes in their end. 